Greetings! In this video I'll be demonstrating how you can install single player modifications to the game Hellgate London using the Revival tools. For those who may be unfamiliar with the files I'm referencing and using, I'll include links in the description below. So, quick note, there are two separate launchers, each for specific modifications. In this video I'll be covering what's dubbed as the old launcher, so kindly make sure that the modification you wish to install requires this launcher and not what's dubbed as the new one. The two are quite different, so I'll be covering the new one in another video to avoid any confusion. So, step 1. Install the game. If you have a previously modified version of the game, it is highly recommended that you do a fresh installation, otherwise there may be conflicts with the modifications you wish to install. Step 2. Download the old launcher, extract it to your game directory, install it and enable expert mode. Again, uh, links to these files can be found in the description below. I keep my launcher here, so I will copy it and go to the game's default directory. That's usually in C, Program Files, Flagship Studios, Hellgate London. I will paste this here and extract it. Now I'll run it. Yes, yes, and OK. So, now that we're here, we're going to need to go to Options, Program Settings, and Enable Expert Mode. Uh, this isn't actually mandatory, but many, many modifications will require it. So this suffices to set up the launcher. Step 3. Download the 1.2 SP patch, install it, and run the game once. So I'll need to locate my patch. Install it. and finish. Now we'll need to run the game once. This is actually a mandatory step, as doing so allows the game to create some additional files that many modifications will require. So we'll use the game's original launcher to launch the game. Uh, it's noteworthy that you will only need to reach the game's uh, character creation screen for this step. You will not actually need to play the game at this point. The game will create the needed files at this point on its own. So this suffices to patch up the game. Step 4. Download the modifications you wish and use the launcher to install. So you will need to run the new launcher then go to File, Install, Mod Package. You should be presented with this uh, message that you're good to go. So click Next and select Package. Now you will need to locate the modification you have previously downloaded. Again, links to modifications can be found in the description below. For this example, I will be using Revival 1.2.1 which is the most recent and last modification supported by this launcher. And that's it. Step 5. Run the game. So that's it. If you encounter any issues during this process, please don't hesitate to ask for support here or in the Revival community. Thank you for watching.